I am thrilled to do not one, but two colors of uh, a beautiful, gorgeous synthetic wig that you can see right here um, is to die for. This is Ellen Villa. And yes, I said it right, uh, because remember, if you guys watched me the first time, I did not say it right, so I can be taught. Um, but this wig is called Arrow, and it is special. So two colors, uh, and I'm gonna focus on how maybe you could style this wig out of the box. Now, both of these are right out of the box. My tag is tucked in my back. Uh, you can see the tag is still here. So uh, this is what you'll get, and I think that's important to understand what you might think you're getting out of the box if someone has cut it, altered it in any way. All I have done with the one I am wearing is just put a little bit of spray around uh, my face just to keep my hair out of my face for this. So uh, I am excited to show you what I did, but let's talk about color real quick. So first of all, this length is, I think, perfect. Um, I love longer wigs, but sometimes, especially in the summer, and right now in Texas, where I am, it is hot, super hot. Like, fire hot. So this would be one I would wear out. The first thing I said when I pulled this out of the box is it is low density. So for you guys who maybe feel like sometimes just it's too much hair, this would be the one for you because it is a little bit longer, right? It's a little below shoulder length, but it's not so long that you feel like you're constantly having to you know, tossle it about. And I think that that is fabulous. So I'm using my cheat sheet um, over here. So if you see me gaze over there, um, that's what I'm doing. This is called, the one I'm wearing, Copper Brown Mix. And what I love about this, um, they describe it as medium brown, bright copper red, and an auburn blend. And I'm gonna tell you when I put this on, I am in love. And let me tell you why. It has the perfect amount of mix of red so that if you might have been like, I think I could do a red, but I'm not sure. I think it's perfect in how it blends a little bit around your face. So you can see the highlights and the lowlights. Can you guys see that? It's just beautiful, but it gives you enough where it's not that stark Jessica Rabbit red, right? Uh, we all see that and go, that's great, but probably can't pull that off. I know I can't, um, but this one is absolutely gorgeous the way that those highlights are blended and i totally think that auburn nails this on the head so um and and there is that little fiery copper right kind of like my personality it's a little fiery sometimes so uh i think you guys should try this one if you're looking for a red and why not right if however red is not your thing let's talk about this gorgeous blonde it is dark honey blonde uh with gold blonde highlights Look, I need my glasses, kids. Even here at the wigs.com studio, it can't make me see better. I thought they could do everything, but it is not like uh, the Wizard of Oz when I'm getting the tuck tuck here, although I need that too. Uh, let's look at this one. It is absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm gonna pull this off here because I am not talented enough like the guys that you see here. You guys are gonna get an old school kitchen style with me. Um, look at this coloring. Can you see all of these gorgeous creams? There are some, um, you know, it says golden blonde, like a honey blonde, but I really don't think it's gold. And I am not a gold fan, you guys know that. So um, I think, I'm gonna give it a try. What do you think, should we just pull it on? You guys saw the tags, let's see what this is like. And while I change this, right? Look, I'm, my tag is stuck. Presto changeo. Um, let's talk a little bit about that this does have a lace front. This is the quality that you guys know um, from Ellen Villa and, um, We've got number one, my favorite tabs in the back. Remember we talked about that because they're Velcro, so they stay where you put them. Sometimes those other tabs you have to readjust as you pull them on and off. Um, also very breathable, right? Amazing quality. And it does have some free parting right there. Now, if you look at this, it will say um, mono part. And all that means in fancy terms is that there's a set part here. Free parting, right, would mean it comes all the way over here. That's it, it's that simple. You have a lot of control within that space though. And then look at all of this front lace here. Now, as a cosmetologist, what I can tell you is most people don't part their hair all the way back here when you're trying to get a little side swept anyway. So look at all of this space. Can you guys see that? That you have to go with even just some fringe bags, bangs. So I probably have bags under my eyes from that flight, but don't, uh, don't hesitate to go outside of that area in the front, okay? So let's slap this one on and see what we've got. I'm excited, you guys see the tags, right? So 
we are just going to go for her. Oh, look at that. Looks like you just stepped out of the salon, doesn't it? Those highlights are butter. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, one of the things that you will always see um, in, in my reviews is that I pull it right out of the package just like this, don't do anything. So sometimes you see this little crazy part. That's just how it's manufactured. It's fixed very easily by taking a comb and just combing it straight down. And then as long as you're staying in that free parting area right there, even though it's a mono part, you still have an area to play with. Then you can just comb it out and you're good to go. Look at how absolutely gorgeous. You know, this kind of reminds me of, do you remember the Bo Derek days when she was in those braids? I feel like this was after she took those braids out, right? Cause you know, she wasn't staying in those long. So I think it's just got that beautiful kind of tousled, like you had it in, in braids on the beach. Maybe you took a nap, right? Underneath that umbrella, maybe you had a margarita. And then all of a sudden, look what you've got. The perfect blonde beach hair. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, now again, this is synthetic. It is not heat friendly. So you guys need to be aware of that. You can do some things with it, like, you know, uh, warm up your hands like this and kind of press down if something isn't the angle you want. And of course, you can have some styling techniques that have nothing to do with hairspray but we're gonna save that for another video. So this is Arrow, and it is uh, a synthetic. It is not heat friendly, uh, but we'll talk about some styling tools that you can uh, use to mix it up. And uh, you need to go check them out. It does come in petite average size. And I think, again, it is to die for. So go to wigs.com and check 